He said, we loved Prophet more than our children, our mothers, and our wealth. For us, he was more cherishable than a glass of cold water in the extreme thirst in the hot sands of Arabia. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala who comes to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says, O Prophet of Allah, I have searched my soul. I have searched my soul and I have found out that among all the human beings, I love you the most except my own self. Only Umar radiallahu ta'ala who can make a statement like this. He said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, I love you more than anyone else except my own self. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O oh, Umar, لا يُذْنِ أَحَدَكُمْ حَتَّى أَكُونَ أَحَبَّ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ وَالِدِهِ وَبَلِدِهِ وَالنَّاسِ that you will not be a perfect believer. That no one can be a perfect believer until they love me more than their parents, their children, and, and the people. When Sayyidina Umar said, heard this, he said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, now I love you more than my own self. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-an ya Umar, al-an, now, O Umar, now. And the meaning of now, the scholars say, is because, O Umar, what took you so long? What took you so long to love me more than your own self? Another meaning they say is, now your iman is perfect, O Umar. Today is the month, first day of the month of Rabiul Awwal. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whenever he would cite the new moon of the month, he would recite the dua, Allahumma ahidu alayna bi yumni wal iman wa salamati wal islam bima tuhibu tarda rabbi wa rabbi Allah. Oh Allah, let this new moon, let this month, beginning of the month, new moon, be a month of peace, safety, iman and a means of doing good deeds. My Lord and the Lord of the moon is you, O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This was a month when the world was in, was in the darkness of ignorance and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his mother gave birth to him in this month. People <coughs> proclaim the love of Prophet وسلم, celebrate the love of Prophet وسلم, in this month of Rabi al Awwal. But the love of Prophet وسلم, should not just be in the month of Rabi al Awwal. It should be for the entire 12 months, for the entire lifetime of ours. The love of Prophet وسلم, it is hard to comprehend. <coughs> We are living in an age where, where the love of material things has seeped into our hearts. It is hard to understand and imagine the love the companions of Prophet وسلم, had for Prophet وسلم. The wealthiest man living in Madinah al Munawwara, in the aftermath of the Battle of Buhar, Rasulullah said, 
I cannot see Sa'ad in the Rabi'ah. Go find him. If you find him, convey my salams to him. The Sahaba told, go look for him. And they find him under a pile of dead bodies. He's still breathing his last. Zayd ibn Thabit says, O Sa'ad, the Prophet of Allah is conveying, sending his salams to you. He says, tell the Prophet of Allah that may Allah reward him the best of the rewards that he has never rewarded to any Prophet before. And you listen, if anything happens to the life of Rasulullah wasallam and his well-being, you will not be absolved, you will not be cleared by Allah on the Day of Judgment. And in the same battle, in the aftermath of the Battle of Uhud, when the rumors spread that Rasulullah has been killed, has been martyred, a woman from the Ansar, from Medina, came running out of her house. Her name was Hinda bin Tasariya, Hinda bin Ansariya anha from the Ansar. She came and asked a group of people coming from the Mount Rahab. She says, Rasulullah? How is the Prophet of Allah? They said, we do not know, but your father, Amr bin Ibn Jabur, has been martyred, has been killed. She said, Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi raji'un. Then he went and asked, she went and asked another group, how is the Prophet of Allah? They said, we do not know, but your son, al muadh has been martyred, has been killed. She said, Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi raji'un. Then someone said, when she asked the same question, someone said, your husband has been killed, has been martyred. She said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi wa Then she went further on to ask for the safety of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they said, your brother has been killed, has been martyred. Imagine in a span of few minutes, when you're told that your father, your son, your brother, your husband has been martyred. Imagine just listening to the death of one parent or one sibling, one family member is a very traumatic experience in our lifetime. But imagine the entire family being wiped out, hearing the news in a matter of minutes. The trauma a person can have. And this is what I'm saying, it's something we cannot understand. We, not, we cannot comprehend the love the companions had for Prophet she kept on climbing the Mount Ohad, looking for Prophet, for Prophet And she finally found him safely coming down from the hill. She went and ran to Prophet And she said, Oh Prophet of Allah, with tears in her eyes, Every difficulty, pain goes away after looking at your noble face, O Prophet of Allah. In another narration, she says, O oh, Prophet of Allah, every difficulty and trial, tribulation, adversity goes away looking at, looking at you, O oh, Prophet of Allah. The death has lost, the death of my family members, O oh, Prophet of Allah, has lost its sting looking at you alive, O oh, Prophet of Allah. What kind of love was this respect of this? What kind of love was this? Sufyan bin Sawri rahmatullahi says, Your love for Allah, your love for Allah is shown by the love of your love to the Quran. And the love to the Quran by you is shown by the love of Prophet sallallahu And the love of Prophet sallallahu is shown by the love of his ways of his sunnah. And the love of his ways of his sunnah is shown by the love of the hereafter. And the love of the hereafter is shown by the hatred for this life in this world. And the love for the hatred of this life is shown by just enough provisions, possessions you have to reach the life of the hereafter. And he goes on to say, following Prophet ﷺ, follow loving Prophet ﷺ, loving Prophet ﷺ is to follow him. 
is to follow him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says when people came and said to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Prophet of Allah, we love Allah. We love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the words in the Quran. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِكُمُ اللَّهِ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Tell them, O Prophet of Allah, if they love Allah, if they love Allah, tell them to follow your ways. Tell them to follow your ways. When they follow your ways, Allah will forgive them their sins. Because Allah is the most forgiving and merciful. <coughs> our lives are dry in respect of listeners. We pray our salat, we read Quran, we do dhikr, we do hajj, we do umrah. We fast in the month of Ramadan. In a dry way, Allah forgive me, I'm talking about myself. In a dry way, what makes my life a dynamic one? What drives my life in a dynamic way is the love of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Shaykh Rumi Ahmedullah says, crying for your sins, you can cry your, over your sins. But make your life alive by bringing in the love of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in your lives. A man comes to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and says, O Prophet of Allah, O Prophet of Allah, when I go, my, when I go to my home after sitting in your gatherings, I become very uneasy. I, come back, I want to come back and be in your company. But O Prophet of Allah, death is sure to come to you and to me. And when you die, O Prophet of Allah, when you die, you will be in a very high rank in paradise. The rank Allah gives to the prophets. I do not know where I will be in. I do not know where I will be in paradise. Will I be able to see you, O Prophet of Allah, in paradise? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not even want to say how to respond to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verses in the Quran. He sent angel Jibreel alayhi salam with the words, وَمَنْ يُتَعِلِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ عَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالسِّدِّيقِينَ وَالشِّبَدَاءِ وَالسَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَا أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا Whoever obeys Allah and His Prophet Whoever obeys Allah and His Prophet, they will be in the company, they will be in the company of the prophets, of the martyrs, of the righteous, the best and the truthful, the best of the company are they, says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is from the grace of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enough for them. A man comes to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and says, O Prophet of Allah, I do not have much salat, much fasting, much charity on my name. Meaning, Imam Nabi Rahmatullah says he was talking about his nawafil, the non-obligatory worships. Obligatory, they would be very particular. He was talking about the non-obligatory worships. I do not have much nafil salat, much nafil fasting, much charity. But, O oh, Prophet of Allah, will I be with you on the day of judgment? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, first he asked, O oh, Prophet of Allah, when is the day of judgment? When is the day of judgment, O oh, Prophet of Allah? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, what preparations have you made for the day of judgment? Then he says, I do not have much salah, charity, Fasting, meaning nawafil, not only in my account. But I love you, O Prophet of Allah. But I love you, O Prophet of Allah. Prophet said, Al-Maru Ma'aman Ahab. A person will be with whom he loves on the day of judgment. A person will be with him or her whom he loves. This hadith, 
this saying of Prophet was the most beloved hadith to the companions of Prophet Because they loved Prophet they knew how much they loved him. And they knew they will be with Prophet because of their love for Prophet A man comes to Prophet O Prophet of Allah, I pray five times Salah. I fast in the month of Ramadan. I cannot do Hajj because I do not have enough money. I cannot afford to do Hajj. I don't need charity. I don't have enough money. Will I be with you on the day of judgment, O Prophet of Allah? Will I be with you on the day of judgment, O Prophet of Allah? Prophet said, if you do these three things, with your eyes, with your eyes, the first is with your heart. With your heart, do not have any envy or enmity against fellow human beings. Do not have any envy or enmity against fellow human beings. Number two, with your tongue, with your tongue, do not slander or speak lies. Number three, with your eyes, do not look at the forbidden face and do not look down upon the servants of Allah subhanahu if you do these three things, you will be closer to me on the day of judgment than the palm of my hand, said Prophet You will be closer to me on the day of judgment than the palm of my hand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those. Holy, 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 Alhamdulillah, 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 This love the companions of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it enabled them to face the trials and tribulations of this life, and it enabled them to face death in the most welcoming way. And that is what the love of Prophet does. It takes away trials, tribulations, difficulties of life, adversities. And they follow him in ease and adversity. What a Prophet Allah gave us respected listeners. How much love he had for all of us. How much he prayed for us. When he made dua for the forgiveness of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, when she became so happy, he said, Oh Aisha, I made the same dua of forgiveness for my entire nation five times a day in every salah. It doesn't end there. At the time of death, he was, he was, he, he was the last words of his, Treat well people who are under you. Doesn't end, didn't end at the time of death. On the day of judgment, on the day of judgment, when Allah says in the Quran, when the hellfire, Jahannam will be dragged forth, and the people, prophets like Prophet Adam, السلام, Ibrahim, السلام, Musa, السلام, will be saying, Nafsi, Nafsi, what is going to happen to me today? What is going to happen to me today? Even on that day, Prophet will not be forgetting us. Ummati, Ummati, my people, O Allah, my people. Such a Prophet respected us. Such a Prophet Allah gave us. How can we take his ways easy? His way of life, his simplicity, his honesty, his truthfulness, his dealing with the people, his worship. Allah has preserved every action of Prophet, even how he went to the bathroom and came out of the bathroom. We do the same way it becomes worship in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the miracles of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha says, every time I wanted to do him salam first, but he would be the first one to say salam to me. I was never able to say salam to him first. Such akhlaq, such character, such manners. When you go to the mall, any department store, you go to buy clothes, few threads come out, small little hole in the dress you want to buy, they put a sale 50% off. 
You want to drive the most expensive car. But if there's just no air in one single tire, in a $100,000 car, no air in a single tire, which only takes me two quarters, the car will not drive. America we are living in, in the elections, if there is a tie in the polls, one vote, one vote of the vice president will decide the most powerful seat on the nation of the earth. One vote can decide the most powerful seat, respected listeners. How about one sunnah of Prophet Will not that rescue us on the day of judgment? The value of one sunnah of Prophet when we will find out, we will realize how precious it was on the day of judgment. Because that will be the currency on the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me the understanding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the understanding to bring the ways of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in our lives. Rabbana adina fi dunya hasna wa fi akhirati hasna wa fi adhaad al-nar. Rabbana adhi kulubana ba'adhi adhaydana wa adhana mila dhubba rahma. Inna kanta luha ibadullah. Inna Allah yaqru bi adhiru al-hissan. Wa ika idhi al-qurba. Wa ika anif ahshat wa al-mulkari al-baghi. Ya'idhu la alam la dhakaroon. Fazkuru ni adhkurkum. Wa shkuru ni wa la dhakaroon. Wa qimissam. Thank <laughs> you.